Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. I have another Diamond Art Club sneak peek to share with you guys today. And of course, I am very, very grateful to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share with you guys. So thank you, Diamond Art Club. And now let me show you what it is. It's Beside Still Waters by Kim Norlian. Let me turn it sideways so you can see it the right way. So yes, we got another Kim Norlian. I, I know I'm going to say I'm so excited and I always say that about every single kit, but really, <laughs> I'm really excited. So this is a square drill kit. We know this because of the blue square labeling and the blue theming of the box. I will just give you a little look over of the box on the back where we have some information about diamond painting and the kit contents. And then on the side, you have a QR code that you can scan for 10% off. Now let me remove this plastic real quick so we can see what is inside this box. Okay, got the plastic off, but I do want to tell you before I start digging into this box, because I will forget, I want to let you know the release information. So this kit is going to release on Saturday, June 11th, and that'll be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level rewards members. For the general access, it'll be 9.30 Pacific time or 12.30 Eastern time. All right, let's get into this box. I want to see the canvas so much. All right, looks like we've got that new style toolkit poking out here. We'll take a look at that. Our smaller sticker looks like it had some rough travels, but it's fine. And let's get the canvas out of here. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, let me give you a look at this smaller sticker. So a lot of people use this to put on the side or the bottom of their box just so they can keep track of what the kit is in their storage. A lot of people will also use them in their logbook. Uh, people do crafty things with them. There's all sorts of things that you can do, but I just wanted to give you a look at it. This is the newer style toolkit. There is still the older style that sometimes comes in the kits from Diamond Art Club, but those older style kits, they still have everything you need to be able to actually get started on your kit. So don't worry if you don't see a bag that looks like this if you order a kit, but we will go through the contents of this one. In this toolkit, we got a bag of baggies. So you can use this for kitting up or for storage, whichever you would like. And I accidentally undid the top of this baggie. So let me seal it back. You get a container that has your heart waxes inside. There's a pin with a grippy or a squishy that you can just put over the top right there and it'll give you a little extra comfort when you're diamond painting. There is glitter in there and yes, it's pink. So of course I love it, but not every kit will give you a pink one. So colors may vary. It won't always be this. We've got multi-place, well, multi-placer is all I can find. This is a seven placer. Typically there's a four placer and odds are there was one in this bag and I've already managed to lose it. So this is the seven placer, but uh, your new toolkit would also come with a four placer. We've got a diamond painting tray with a stopper. So when you put your drills in, you can just insert that stopper right there so that nothing falls out until you're ready for it to. We've got a sharp pair of tweezers with the Diamond Art Club branding. These tweezers come with square kits and I will show you the sharpness on there. That is very intimidating. So keep that cover on for safety. Look at this cute little cover minder. I haven't gotten one like this before. 
So a cover minder, it, it has this magnet on the back. You can just slide this right off. You'll put this part under the canvas and then you take your plastic cover and fold that back to wherever you want it to be. You have this under there and then you put this on the top and it will just hold together like that. It'll keep that plastic out of your way. And last but not least, we've got this really gorgeous washi tape. A lot of people use the washi to tape around the edges of their canvas. Uh, some people use it to section the canvas off. I really love this one. It's giving me kind of some pumpkin spice vibes. <laughs> I love that color. All right, moving along, let's get into this canvas. I am gonna try to get the drills to come out first. We'll see how that goes. Wow, okay, we're just pulling it all out. That's what we're doing. Okay, now it's out of the bag. Let's see if I can get the drills to come out now. There they go. Ooh, that's a fat baggie of drills. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. First, we can look at this booklet. It's just a thank you for your purchase, information inside, some QR codes for you to scan. Uh, one will take you to a video about how to diamond paint. One will take you to the Facebook group. You got a coupon in here as well. And then one of these two will take you to the Diamond Art Club app. Next, we've got this larger sticker sheet. It has a larger version of the image. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Uh, it also has a little section here where you can put your start and end date in case you like to track that sort of thing. This is also great to go in a log book and it has your dimensions down here, down here, excuse me. This is 105 centimeter by 70 centimeter, so kind of a big one, but most landscapes are. We've got 44 colors. We have got four ABs, and I do want to point out that these stickers, well, this one wants to peel up, so I'll show you right there. These are individual stickers, so you can take each one off and put it on the container with that drill color, so it makes kidding up really simple. Let's take a look at this bag of drills. Gosh, it's heavy. See that 310 there? Oh, this is a better view. Okay. I like to look at it in the bag before I take them all out and ruin it in a few minutes, but we will look at all of these one by one. Okay, this is what we're all here for, right? Let's see this canvas after. No, I don't have to flip it around a bunch. This is actually the right way. So we can already see some gorgeous flowers. I know I'm gonna have to readjust the camera because you're not gonna be able to take in the beauty. I want you to see that cabin up there. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get you a better view. All right, I know that you still can't see it all, but we will do a slow pan here in just a minute so that you can get a look at all of the really nice details on this piece. It's so nice. I'm trying not to say pretty, so I'm saying nice. It's, it's all the same thing. I'm just complimenting it so much because I love it. So a few things about the canvas. I want to show you down here at the bottom that you can see here is your title, the dimensions that we already talked about, but also here is the licensing information. So if that is important to you, like it is to me, that's where you can find that on a Diamond Art Club canvas. Also, while we're down here, I can show you the scalloped edges on a Diamond Art Club canvas. So that'll just keep it from fraying, very, very helpful. And if I can, lay it down again I can show you there is a legend on this side and also over here on the other side I'll bring it whoops I'll drop it I'll bring it a little closer so you can get a good look at these symbols I'm loving this assortment of colors oh before we do the slow pan I do want to mention that I rolled this canvas backwards so I just flipped it over and rolled it up that way just so it would lay a little bit flatter for us to look at. 
uh, Diamond Art Club canvases, they lay flat in no time, even if you don't do that. But just so we could look at it right now, I went ahead and rolled it. That's not going to harm it because this is poured glue. So I just wanted to let you guys know, just in case you wanted a, a quick fix, whenever you take one out of the box, you can roll it backwards. All right, now let's do that slow pan. is just so pretty. Did you guys see the ducky? <laughs> I haven't had him in the frame, but there he is, or she. <laughs> Let's take a look at the drills now. Before I open this up, I did want to point out that these drill packages are labeled with the title of the kit, so if you store your drills separately from the canvas, then you'll still be able to match them up. Like I said earlier, we will be going through all of these drills one by one. So if you don't like this part, I'll have a timestamp or a chapter down below so that you can skip to the part where we look at where the ABs go. 3750, 3806, 3740, two bags, and 931. Three bags of thirty-seven ninety-nine. One, two, three, four, five bags of thirty-three seventy-one. Lots of really pretty dark colors in this piece. One, two, three, four bags of three ten. But wait, there's more. They were just on a different strand. Two more bags of 310, 734, 814, 451, 221, 2 bags of 937, 3041, and then 3 bags of 3042. 733, 2 bags of 453, and 646. 3 bags of 413, 
Gosh, I just realized that you guys might be hearing Nuggets snoring, so I apologize for that if you can hear it. I'm so used to it, I don't even notice it anymore, but he's right over here sleeping. 7.32, two bags of 9.35, a big strand here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven bags of 9.38. One, two, three, four, five bags of 8.98. Four twenty-two, 3.12, 9.48, 4.20, 8.41. 336, 224, 223, 106. So this is our first AB. And gosh, what a pretty one. I don't think I've ever had this one before. It's like a nice, like, no, I, I don't want to say beige. It's like an off-white. I'm not sure <laughs> what color to call it, but I love it. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. So these drills just have a special coating on the top and you can kind of see how it's shimmering in the light there. And I'll show you the one before it. They sparkle for sure, but they don't have that special shine like these ones do. And also there's a 152 on the end there. 869. 103, so that's our second AB, this pretty red. Then 105, so another AB. I don't think I've ever had this one before either, a pretty like light brown color. And then 435 and 823. 414, 3328. 131, so that's our last AB, this nice bright orange, then 930 and 900. That is all the drills, and now I have separated the ABs out so we can look at where those go. So if you've skipped here, welcome back. Let's get on the hunt for these ABs. So the number one symbol, the very first AB is this 103, this red. The first place that I'm seeing this is probably pretty obvious. It's down here in these um, flowers, berries. I think they're flowers, but let me get it close enough that you can see those ones. There they are. And this one is gonna look the same way. There's gonna be just a little pop of extra shine in each one of those. And then as we move over, that is gonna be true. Over here again, I, I'm not gonna try to point to them all, but I think you can get the gist that these are all going to have a similar appearance to them. They're gonna have just a little red shiny pop. And just keep moving on along. There's some more of them. But then, oh, let me take you all the way over here. There's some more. And then right here, moving up. That is the bulk of them, but I did notice one other place. Over here in our ducky friend, he's got just a little red AB right here. The next AB is the number two symbol, and that's this 105 AB, this nice light brown. The first place I see this is in these flowers down here, not the red, but the white flower. Oh, not that, the, the twos, that's what I'm looking for. And that continues on as we move this way on the canvas. Now, not every flower has the twos. 
I can get that to be visible. See, that one doesn't have any. And I don't think that one does either, but as we keep moving to this side, it does appear again. I'm seeing some threes here too, so that's probably our next AB, but we will come back to that. And then this just continues all the way across. And then we're gonna move up and see what we can find. We are looking at the house now, or the cabin, where these two symbols are kind of just dispersed in lots of different places. So we'll have some, some shiny browns in our cabin. Let's see those right there. And then along the bottom of the window here. And on across, let me get this a little bit closer. So on the porch swing here as well, just, just lots of nice shiny brown. And then also these plants in the water sometimes have a little pop of that AB as well. And of course, last but not least, we've got a few there in our duck bill. The next AB is this 106, it's the number three symbol. And we were definitely seeing a lot of that one when we were looking down here at these flowers. You can see these are going to be very shiny flowers. Lots of threes. In there. Now I'm curious about these ones that didn't have the 2AB. The canvas would allow me to show you. Oh, it does not have the 3 either. So this must just be a less shiny little area. But then it picks back up again. And we have lots of 3s dispersed around. all over the place. Lots of nice shine. I'm so excited to use this AB. It's such a pretty color. Kind of a nice alternative to that, uh, the 141, the white AB that we see a lot of. I like this one. It's just like a more muted. And th this piece seems to have a lot more muted tones to it. So I really like that choice. There's some more. And I think that is all. Now for our last AB, this 131, if the camera would focus, there it goes. <laughs> this is the symbol number four. This one is in a lot of places, so bear with me while I try to wrangle this canvas. Okay, we are over here on the left side of the canvas. I'm gonna pull it up and show you these fours right here nice little line and then we need to go up a little farther these are here we are still on the left edge these are the pink flowers and they have some fours there and then fours through here a little bit over here and then this little bit of greenery some type of grass, I suppose, has some of that orange all the way to the tippy top right there. Now we are looking at the cabin again. So there is some up here, some of that orange AB, but then mostly we're going to see it in these uh, lit up windows. So they can have the light will be extra shiny coming through the windows. Also right here beside the house, we've got a little line of that AB in the tree. And then also there's some down here in the water. I guess these are, are the lights from the cabin reflecting in the water. Not to be left out. Last but not least, our sweet little ducky has 
have some fours there as well. Okay, you guys, that's all the ABs. I do want to briefly address the color blocking versus confetti in this piece. I know that we have looked pretty heavily at how the symbols are dispersed, but just because I like to comment on it, I will. So I think that, this is so big, <laughs> let me maneuver it over here. A lot of the background, like the, the sky area, has some pretty heavy color blocking. Like, look at that symbol K. That is a pretty big chunk there. And then you have another big chunk of this color. And then there's one of this color. And that is also similar in this area up here, perhaps a little bit less or maybe smaller blocks. I mean, there's still some blocks. And then over here on this side down at the bottom, we have what looks like some nice blocking areas of, of probably 310. So there is some color blocking in this. I do feel like the water area has a lot of the same colors, not necessarily in blocks, but you could stick with the same color for a while, like this L symbol here. Look, you can see there's just a, a lot of it in this area, though you're not going to just have it all in a nice, nice simple block. But then for you confetti lovers, <laughs> there are sections like this that just look like you're going to use tons of different colors and there's nice little confetti bits around just placing one drill here, 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 you know, it, it, this would be fun if you love confetti also. Okay, you guys, that's it for me for this video. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. Thank you again to Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. Let me know down in the comments if you are interested in this kit. Are you going to purchase it? Or maybe you already have purchased it. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!